Spyglass DS Digital Controller Setup and Use. The controller and these instructions are intended for use by physicians trained in endoscopic pancreatic obiliary procedures, including ERCP. Upon receiving the controller, complete these initial setup steps. Place the controller and the video monitor on an existing endoscopy tower in the procedure room. Set the PAL NTSC video standard switch on the back of the controller as follows. Use of DVI or VGA cable. No PAL NTSC switch adjustment is required. Use of S-video cable. Set the PAL NTSC video mode switch on the back of the controller to match the video mode of the monitor. Use the DVI or VGA cable or a user-supplied S-video cable to connect one of the video input connectors on the video monitor to one of the video output connectors on the controller. Note, connecting the monitor to the controller using the DVI cable provides the highest quality video image. If a VGA connection is required as an alternative, follow the same process using the VGA cable and VGA connections. If picture-in-picture -picture and image capture capabilities from the controller to the duodenoscope processor are required, an S-video cable may be used. Connect one end of the S-video cable to the picture-in-picture -picture video input on the processor and the other end of the S-video cable into one of the two S-video output connections on the Spyglass DS controller. Set the monitor video input based on the cable selected by consulting your video monitor manual for specific instructions. Operating the controller. Press the power button to start the controller and plug in the spy scope. The controller will begin a self-test and boot sequence, followed by the transition screen. Once the catheter is connected to the controller, the controller will briefly display the catheter loading screen, followed by a live video image. To operate the light on-off button, the controller must be powered on, and a SpyScope DS catheter must be connected to the controller. To increase the brightness of the video image, press the up arrow button. To shut down the controller at the end of a procedure or during a procedure, follow these steps. Disconnect the catheter cable from the front of the controller by pushing down on the cable connector locking tab and pulling it out of the receptacle. Power down the controller by pressing the power button.